Hi again. I've had a couple of people ask me online and offline um, a little bit more for a little bit more information about these motherboards. So I'll go into a little bit more detail about them um, with regards to what they do and how you actually hook them up. In this video, I'll also show you the power supply that I use. Um, as stated before, it's a big old noisy monster. Um, and having it in the box underneath the motherboard is making a huge difference to my sanity. Um, currently we're running Raven and that's generating a little bit as we go. But I'll switch that off and I'll get down into the motherboard and show you a little bit more in depth and uh, show you all the connections and uh, a few things that uh, you, you probably should know if you're going to buy one of these. Okay, so system is now off. Here is our motherboard. Um, each PCIe slot has its own power supply port and the modular power supply that I'm using and for this board you do need a modular power supply an ATX plug is of no use so these little modular connectors um, both plug into the top of the graphics cards and also into the motherboard and my motherboard I'm, I'm hoping that they all do you probably want to check the descriptions if you're going to buy one of these uh, my motherboard came with a bag full of these splitters um, they didn't come with the power supply itself i'll show you the power supply in a moment but this came I, the, the motherboard came with i think it was 10 splitters and because i've got the power supply enclosed um very handy to have these to be able to reach the graphics card and the power the, the power pins on the motherboard with the motherboard um as a very specific requirement you need to power this one pin uh, plug number one that powers all of these and the entire motherboard um, if you try running your graphics card through here that's fine but you'll still need to power this one um, I'm not sure whether the PCIe port number one is a requirement, but um, definitely this particular plug is necessary. You have to have that one powered up in order to start the computer. Now what I'll do is I'll go around the back of this board and you can see exactly what's connected or what's at, uh, part of the board. We've got a network RJ45 connector. We've got four USB ports. I would say that they are all USB 2.0. Um, here you've got a power button. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. Um, it also comes with a cable um, with a button that lets you run your reset. Again, I've not never, ever used it. Um, when you power the power supply, this thing fires up. Um, so, and just with Windows, I shut it down. Uh, the other two attachments here are your VGA port and your HDMI. I've only ever used this. This plugs into my TV now. Um, so I've never had cause to run that. I did have to buy a Wi-Fi sender and receiver, which was about $3. And this controls my mouse and keyboard um, under the processor heatsink and fan is your Celeron processor I was really hoping that it wouldn't be hardwired into the motherboard um, because this particular family of processors has about 20 different members and there are some really good i7 series processors that would have fit in nicely but unfortunately it is hardwired into the motherboard so um, 
nothing can be done about that unless you're an electronics tech and you really want to play around. Um, beyond that, um, this stuff takes care of itself. Once it's up and running, there's, I, I've not had a real issue at all. You've got your date and time battery, your M2 SATA, that is your uh, onboard graphics, and obviously your laptop RAM. Um, what I will show you now is the power supply. Um, just bear with me. Now this is a big unit, as you'll see. I've got this thing packed with foam pieces in order to dampen the sound. But what we have is a very large unit. It's twice the size of an ATX unit. And as you can see, there are a whole lot of modular pins, modular cables in here that are not being used. And what I've done here is I've got my airflow in and there's a fan there that draws it in, obviously, runs through the system. My airflow out, I've deliberately channeled that out. Otherwise, it all pulls in here. And I watch, <laughs> with this temperature probe, I watched when I first built this I watched the temperature just climb and climb and climb and climb and it was quite harrowing to watch so I've made a channel for it that draws it straight in there's another fan I don't know if I can see that. oh yeah there we are there's a fan under there which pulls it out which makes it doubly loud the only other things we've got down here are um, the power supply and the switch so let me just turn this on and I'll show you how loud this thing is with the two fans. Now that's quite a bit. I've got to talk a bit louder to get over that. Um, but when I close this in with the box, this is incredibly quiet in comparison. Much, much quieter. And it makes my life a lot easier to work with. And it's 25 degrees outside at the moment, so it's doing quite well um, as far as that goes. Um, so you do need a modular power supply in order to run this particular motherboard. Okay, we're back up and running. Um, back up with Raven again. Um, with the power supply, the only thing I need to mention is that that's an 1800 watt system, uh, power supply unit. Um, I did go for a big one deliberately, and obviously I'm paying for it with noise. Um, you can run these systems with multiple smaller modular power supplies, and you will see them on eBay as you go around the traps looking around. Um, these cards, this one is the 3060 um, RTX. It states that you need at least 600 watt power supply. I'm guessing that's to get it started, the, the, the starting power, um, along obviously with the motherboard, which will consume about 40 watts on startup. And then I think it's about 20 watts once it's actually running. Um, beyond that, I think I've covered most things. Um, I'm still waiting on a few things to arrive um, from good old China um, several months later. Um, when they do, I'll, I'll put this thing back in the rack once the risers turn up and um, see how that runs through that system. Um, if you do have any questions, by all means, add them in the comments. I will place a link for the power supply that I purchased um, if anybody is chasing something similar.